My name is James Fitzgerald Valley. I'm the mayor of Helena, West Helena, Arkansas. I've been in this capacity since January the 1st of 2006. What led us to having this uh, curfew or saturation zones in our community chiefly was this 10 block area involved some, I guess the best way to describe it, some bad guys who didn't necessarily live there, but they knew it was a tough area and they were coming over there more or less, it seemed as though they were trying to claim territory. And for about three weeks consistently, every evening, there was shooting. Uh, wasn't shooting people or objects, just shooting into the air scene. And it got to the point where it was striking houses, striking cars, breaking windows. And it made people over there feel unsafe to the point where they were sleeping on their floors uh, out of fear that being window height in their bed, they might get hit by a stray bullet. So we imposed a curfew to try to weed out who was supposed to be in the neighborhood and who was not, who actually lived there or had business there. So the police were checking everybody. What they went over there to do was to ascertain who were the good guys who were not. And what we did in that three or four day period, the first three or four days anyway, was arrested about uh, 30 people and 10 of them had felonies. Uh, many of them were parolees or probationees who, uh, by being in that area and by some of the things they were doing, were violating their probation terms. And so we got them taken back to the county jail. In, in addressing the critics as it relates to what we're doing with crime here, one, we've tried to assure them and the general public that we're following the law, that we're w working within the confines of the law as written and interpreted by the United States Supreme Court or the Supreme Court of the State of Arkansas. We've had some, some critics who, who want us basically to go away. Uh, we believe that many of those people are part of the criminal element. But we also have had several people who said, bring it to Washington Street, or why don't you do something on Walker Levy? We're just trying to have a community that we would want to invite people to live in and where they would want to live in on their own. And in doing that, you, you kind of have to have a, a way of holding people accountable for their actions. And we have to apply the appropriate pressure to the pressure points to make sure good things happen. And, and that's kind of all we can do as we try to invite people in for job uh, development, economic development, job creation, those kinds of activities. Nobody wants to be in a high crime area or want to be in a place where there's no real rule of law, no law and order, and nobody's held accountable. So we want people to know that our community is one where people have to be held accountable and have to do what's right and follow the golden rule. That's what we're trying to do here.